And we've got a cutscene. Okay. I'm not sure I remember him. His name's uh, Tsukimi. And she's Misora. Okay. And as always, no idea what's going on. Ah, the Region Cup. Okay. I know that braid down one side thing is supposed to be cute, but it always just kind of looks like I, uh, the, like, she started braiding her hair and realized it was difficult and annoying and just quit after one. And there's Robotet talking to the guy. And... Ah, the MC Haru is talking. And... Later, guys. Okay, another cutscene or back to the uh, hangar. Hopefully the hangar, so we can get some stuff done. Hangar! Let's get some stuff done. Alright, I will try and make this quick so it doesn't go forever in a day. Um, let's see. We'll be merging those heat hawks. Yeah, I'm just gonna... For now, I'm going to keep doing like I've been doing with... Uh, parts and merge like parts because it just it's the only way I can really keep track of things so and I do want to be able to use everything at one point so merging ev down everything is not really effective let's see um, what else we got a bunch of stuff actually so I'm not really sure what I'm doing Again, normal, normal. Um, let's see, I can merge my current hand with that. Which is, oops, because it's equipped, I, can't, I have to do it the other way around, I'm assuming. Merge with that one. That should give me another level, whether I end up keeping it or not. It should definitely help. Yeah. Let's see, I think that's all the duplicates I've got. No, it isn't. Ale strike. There it is. There we go. Um, man, this list is getting kind of difficult to manage. Uh, Zala told me it turns out you can hold 900 of each kind of part. So, oh man, that's going to be a trick. Okay, that's the Strikes Beam Rifle. Let's merge it with its uh, twin. Yeah, that's the one. I hope it's the one. Yeah, it is. Okay, Endless Waltz Buster Rifle, Hyper Bazooka. I didn't have one, I was right. Let's see, anything I have duplicates of, we will merge. Ah, higher level Zaku machine gun to go with the blue one I've been uh, dealing with. Where are... Where are... There are! Yes. Alright. Now. But yeah, this list is getting pretty substantial. And like I said, I'm kind of out of it today, so... Let's see, that dual gun part is not as good as what I had. I didn't have a blitz part before. Let's merge that with the other strike Gundam head. Uh, much better Zaku head now. Good. Definitely keeping the build strike head. Um, what was I looking for again? Oh, wow, Rob. Strike Gundam. I'm looking for the green strike Gundam head, and I'm pretty sure I was, I was looking right at it when I... Bailed back out of the menu. Yep, sure was. Okay. Okay, anything else that needs combined, duplicated, thrown at? Don't look like it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope. Nope. Different wing Gundams. Oh, I do have two Unicorn Gundam heads to combine. Let's do that. Also, it's a little bit hot in here, so... It is... Okay, sell that the O-head. Mine was a higher level. Um, it's a little bit hot in here. And... Ah. Yeah, can't brain. 
Half the dumb. Very hot. Let's get this done so we can get back to fighting. But I am going to pick a new weapon before we go out. So, okay, I had a higher level dom head, or torso. Difference between a head and torso, generally. Victory, Master, Kshatriya. Okay. Looks like no dupes, so good. Ah, oh, good. The unicorn arms I got were a higher level, so that's good. Gun archer arms can go. Keep those. Um, I'll have to combine them in a minute. Uh... I don't see the point in keeping both sets of dual arms. Perfect strike stays, obviously. Uh, gotta, gotta combine all those. Uh, where's that unicorn arms? I should be coming up on it. There! Man! Yeah, all the katakana in my head just fell out, so it's... Dang. Um, I remember the unicorn Gundam's beam tonfas as being... Uh, very good, so if I'm ever in a place where I want to dump the Kshatriya arms, which I'm sure eventually I will be, I'll keep that in mind. Merge Dom with Dom. Okay. Mer sell this Agai, merge the two greens. Okay. Looks like e higher EX charge when your attacks hit. That could be useful one day. Okay, one last look. And, oops, bunch of Wing Gundam stuff to, ch uh, to combine. Forgot about that. Um, I think I discovered that the characteristics only carry over if you pair merge and not if you group merge, so that's what I've been going for. Let's see, you need those endless waltz arms. There they are. Okay, anything else? Um, wait, two sets of GPO2 arms? Don't need those anymore. It costs you money to merge things, so if there's something that's a lower level than your best part, there's really not a big point in uh, attaching it, because if you find something higher level, it'll, ju it'll just work better and cost you less in the long run. So, you know, that's my plan. I'm gradually learning, and sometimes even gradually conscious. Uh, let's see. Nope, that looks like it. Backpacks. Uh, dual Gundam. Nope. Strike Rouge. Do want to combine the two Strike Rouges? Gonna be near the bottom of the list, I trust. Yep. Let's see. I think Otori means Big Bird. Um, I'm not sure where the Snuffleup because Striker is, but hopefully we'll run across it. Let's see. Gym Command Backpack. Um, V2 dash, victory, or V dash, not uh, victory, or not V2 dash, rather. Um, they're both level 9, don't need them both, mm -hmm. unless that's, no, that's not green. Um, okay, just shields left to go. Yeah, these are worth combining. Yeah, it's really getting warm in here, honestly. But okay. Yep. Gundam goof. I can sell the lesser goof shield. Don't need to worry about. Wait, I do. I want to. I want to change. Let me try changing weapons. Actually, no. I'm, I want to see how hammer blow does. And where is? Right there. Let's try it. Back to the hangar. And let's go to the next mission. Let's see. Oh yeah, since square is, of course, repeat mission, I could move on, but I want to do them all. So, since we're trying to catch them all, we're going to demolish another set of monoliths. Let's see if this takes half an hour or more or less or what.
And here we go. Minimal changes since last time, if any. I really should look into changing some of these, but for now, I like this. And again, requires less cognacious thunk, which is not, not really uh, working out for me today. Man, Hammer Boy does charge fast. That's good. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, it launches. I like it. I probably used it in the previous Gundam Breakers, but I think it re reacts a little bit different. I don't remember being able to knock people around quite that easily. Got that. Next. Oh. A V2 Beam Rifle and a V2 Head. Good, good. Uh, let's pull the funnels out for a minute. Okay, you wanted to... I'm not sure whether that was... I'm not sure whether that was me. Uh, my guys fired that big beam or them, but either way, I got beams too. I got all the beams. I think it was them firing the, that giant beam gun at me. Well, they're dead now, so it does, doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, let's switch to binders, which are right. Binders are right. Okay, hammer blow, light. Like Brawler itself has no, basically no range, so make sure you are right up on somebody when you go to use it. I can do that. Okay, that is, I guess it's Misa Fire. I didn't remember the name correctly. That's pretty good for me tonight. And... Uh, let's get up on it and... Wow. I like that one. Yeah, I need better guns, though, because that's kind of weak. Stomp. Oh, man, the Stomp has great range, though. That's a decent trade-off. And that is a victory gun, I think. Oh, no, GPO one It's hard to tell from above, especially, so... Oh, that's not fair, getting behind me like that. Uh, victory beam saber. GPO one backpack in green rarity. I'm just happy that I am in fact getting higher level things playing on my own, because I thought I might not. I'm not getting as many high rarity things, and that's that's a fair trade. That's pretty much as it should be. And I'll be up. Oops, did that too early, but. Yes I can. Let's throw it. I'm not sure, but I think when you once you grab them, they you use them as uh, well. Human shields is not the uh, right phrase, but you get the idea. Beams for you, more beams for you, funnels for you. Okay, good one. Funnels take five. Oh, Dunan's on parts. That's cool. I just like that thing. I wonder if the Tom reacts in this. I forget if it was in uh, Breaker 2 or not. Of course, it would not turn into a helicopter with beam rotors, even if it was, so... I don't think any of the transforming mobile suits actually transform in this, which... That should be the next, uh... That should be the next Breaker 2... thing. They, they ought to try, like, full-on flying stages that, if you have a transforming mobile suit, you can take that instead of a base gap. That would be a neat addition. So yeah, for Breaker 4, let's see that. Ow. Yeah, knocked me pretty hard. Well, I hit one of them. It wasn't the one I was targeted on, but I'm not sure that matters. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. E2 is kind of spry. And I'm kind of damaged. Okay, yeah, so I'm assuming with that big gun, that's probably the V2 Buster gun. Them. Oh, 
Okay, got one. I'm just trying to use hammer blow as much as possible in the hopes of mastering it quickly and being able to move on to a different weapon. I have a feeling that if I would have to stick around on this stage a long, long time to get to the point where I could master it in one go. But, ah, oh, there's the box. Mega Beam Shield. Uh, got an F91 legs to non-zon body. Beams. Switch back to the binders. Ah, I'm remembering where things are finally. Give me this box, please. Anything good? Can I have those? Apparently. Ah, there we go. F91 Beam Saber V2 Buster Backpack. For a second there, it looked like it wasn't get, gonna give me those, but I guess it was just lag. Single player lag. Okay. You would move just as I'm using the short range attack. I mean, it's like this life. Grab you? Yes. Oh, I think I hit somebody with it. Denon's on legs. Beams for the two of you. Beams! Not bad. Not bad. Okay, looks like one good way of get it, making sure you can actually get some kind of... Ah, F91 hit. So, looks like one good way to make sure you can get some mileage out of that attack, out of hammer blow, is you do get a lunge with your basic square button uh, brawling attack. Ah, green F91 body. And it kind of looks like if you start that lunge and then use hammer blow, you will be able to do some damage. Which works for me. Man, I need more beam damage. These guys are kinda hard at the moment. I mean, I guess since I've got parts that are on the level with the stage, I guess that's about right, but... Oops, bad timing again. Ah, there's a monolith here. Let's skip funnels. I found the funnel button. Good. Right. Shot Lancer. Which, I kind of like that uh, as a weapon. You know, the the whole idea that... Oops, what do we got? We've got... <laughs> we don't know what we've got. Oh, V2 Assault. But the, the whole idea that uh, colonists came up with a weapon that they could use to destroy mobile suits without causing serious damage to... Uh, Columns, because of course any beam weapon that destroys a mobile suit is going to cause a massive explosion. So, oops. one, two, three. That's pretty good. Got the mega beam rifle for the V2 assault, so I guess that's probably what hit me earlier. Got a V2 body, a V2 head. Oops, did I not? Nope, I did not knock your legs off. Looks like I got V2 Assault Arms. Victory's one of those ones I never watched all the way through. I watched, like, the last episode, because, uh... Uh... A friend asked me to get them a copy, and I found one. This was years before it was available domestically. If it is even this now, I'm not sure. But... And it is, it is very much uh, Tomino in his bummer mode, the same way Zeta Gundam is. Ooh, purple F-91 body, that's good. Like, you know, Zeta, Zeta, Victory, and I want to say, like, one other series have a, come with an essay written by uh, Tomino that say, this show is bad, don't watch it.
I want to read more interviews with him because he's a very kind of interesting person. Weird. As you'd expect him to be. But, uh, you know. I think some of the stories of his crankiness are, over are oversold, but not all. But the thing, the other thing I figured out is, uh, I read a chunk of an interview with him saying that one of the reasons that, uh, uh, that he stopped working with the character designer of the original Gundam, uh, Yoshikasa Yasuhiko, is, you know, you've seen the themes of difficult, the difficulty of human communication in Tomino's work. Well, he was talking to Yasuhiko, and he said that secretly what he uh, wanted to say to him is, Come on, man. I've seen the way you draw women. Just draw porn. You know you want to. And what he wound up saying was, I just don't understand the way you live. So, yeah. You know. Kind of a weird, interesting person. And, you know, given that he has so much trouble communicating with people, you can kind of see where the themes and frustrations of his work come from. Ah, Red Train Kai, I think it was. The one variation that I would love to see get, uh, get a... I don't think it even has a model kit, let alone a uh, Gun Breaker incarnation, is the Red Train Mars Jacket. I probably talked about this during Breaker 2, but... You know, there's in ah, more red frame parts. In ah, in Gundam Seed, there is pretty good shot. Uh, in Gundam Seed, there is of course, well, in Seed Destiny, there's a Zaku, there's a Dom, there's a Goof, there's no Gelgoog, and the Mars jacket disguises the red frame as Gelgoog. Basically, it's pretty great. I think all those redesigns... Oh, that's that's neat looking. I think all those redesigns are actually pretty cool. So. Okay, that's a Mandala Gundam backpack. Or, no, Stargazer. Um, Mandala's ring was uh, made out of fire. Healing. Well, let's drag the funnels out, and I think let's... Uh, let's do some heavy-duty smite. Ah, bear guy perks. Oh, stomp. One, two, three. Okay, well, I totally lost... Ah, H1 Titus arm. I totally lost my train of thought, so apologies for that. No, I like... I remember now. I liked all the uh, Xeon redesigns for Destiny. They were basically the best part of it. I liked the wizard system. I liked that modular backpacks were something that moved down into more like mass production mobile suits on both sides in the wake of the success of the Strike Gundam. You know, a lot of, a lot of neat ideas in Destiny. And just then the story just kind of goes to mush. At least, you know, my in my opinion... Your mileage may vary. Ah, oh, this is obviously the last section. Turn A's. I wonder if we'll be fighting a perfect grade turn A, or might be a uh, or a large master grade, maybe a turn A, who knows? Or something totally unrelated. Yeah, it could be cool. Could be sumo. Got it. Good. Health is good. Ow. I forgot the turn A's beam rifle could do that. Yes, turn A basically has everything somewhere, as uh, my friend XV was saying the other day. I mean, it has every kind of weapon imaginable. Invent, invents a new one like every uh, other week. Funnels are ready. I'll wait till the boss has uh, got, uh, got here to 
before it goes, I think. There's the monolith, which means here comes... Yep, turn X, here we go. I wish my burst mode was ready. It is not fun as ever. I'm taking some hits here. I think I hit it. Let's heal. Okay, the non on arms. I'm pretty sure I didn't get from the turn X called a hunch. Let's see. I'd love to have my burst mode back, but I don't. Get it. Are you ready to smash? Nope. Oh well, you're dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. MS Claw melee parts. Grab on the gun. Got a turn X body. Okay, well that did a good chunk of its super armor, so... Let my funnels redline, but since this is the end of the match, I don't think it matters too much. Let's go to the binders. Not really great damage, but it's fun. And... Yeah. That was not the best one, but it was a fair one. Alright, I'm sure it has. Did Funnels back yet? No, they're not, so let's just go for it. Let's go to town. Hello, everybody. Oh, hey, yeah, let's end on that. Gotcha. And got a purple rarity F91 body for my trouble. Let's see what we got. Man. Alright. 46,000, not as good as the last round, but it doesn't matter that much. 30,000 GP. I got plenty of GP, so hey. It's circle rob. Swear it is. Okay, got I, I mastered killing shoot, and now I've got carnage shoot. I'm gonna have to try carnage shoot. Ooh, yeah. Uh, M E P E ah the uh, F 91s after image ability, I believe. Uh, I'm gonna pronounce that m meep. I like that. Ah, I got the V two parts for wings of light, I believe. Is that what that is? Oh no, it's uh. Sort of fired, I think is what it says, for uh, Robota. Pay more attention, Rob. This is the... What is What part is this attached to? Um, Volatur... Vrumio? I th I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that goes to. But it's a transaction I can do. Oh, Stargazer Backpack. Okay. Yeah, I, I remember that. It's, it's weird beam hula hoop, I believe. Uh, keeping the F-91 saber. I'll keep the... Oh yeah, squares. Keep Rob. Keep the highest level victory saber in case it's good. Ah, Ger uh, Gerber straight tiger pierce uh, combination. Uh, level 10 turn A saber. Uh, shot lancers are both the same. Heat lance. Uh, Gundam hammer. Not sure I even have one. Level 10 claws. Uh, V2 beam rifle, sure, GP01 rifle, I'll keep the one I've got. Okay, both blue, I'll keep both of those. Zeta plus beam smart gun, rare and level 10, yes, definitely. Uh, V2 assault there. Uh, gun F91 head with an ability. Uh, V2 level 10 and 9 with abilities. Ah, treasure hunter, yeah. Level 10. Uh, Denonzon, keep that. Keep that. Uh, keep the highest level red frame one I've got. Keep the highest level turn X. Two level 10 purple F91. Be combining those. Uh, option gauge something. Option charge something. Thruster enhancements. Uh, and other things I don't quite recognize. Uh, Denonzon parts. Uh, thruster capacity. 
keep, keep. Uh, hit, uh, repair on hit. V2 parts, beam uh, defense, I believe. Uh, take the level 10, take the turn X. Did I take the right heads? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, F91 arms. I think V2 and V2 uh, two assault. A stray red frame. Uh, GPO1, keep the highest level one. Denonzon, keep. Keep that, keep that. V2 and V2 assault again, just in case. Level 10, a stray red arms, yes. Uh, Gundam Age Titus, level 8, yeah. Level 9, turn X. Um, level 10, GPO1. Level 10, F91. Not sure if I have anything of those levels for the uh, gym, GPO2, etc. V2 assault Gundam. Stray Red Frame Kai. Man, Red Frame Kai backpack, which turns into a giant sword. Two GPO1s, two turn X's, one Bear Guy backpack, which just looks like a school backpack with a uh, flute attached. Okay, uh, V2 Assault and Buster, Stargazer. Um, a Stray Red Frame Kai. I, got, I think the one I have is better. Keep the turn X backpack. Uh, not sure I have those, so take it, take the plastics, and sell the rest. And hit the right button. 